Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Voscoin YouTube channel. Today we are going to be doing something that we have done countless times before, but it is the latest and apparently greatest model. It's an ASIC miner review and I, I, I couldn't be more excited. Yeah. Couldn't be more excited. We're going to be reviewing the latest Bitcoin miner. Uh, to be clear, it actually does have a couple cool features. It is using Bitmain's, uh, you know, kind of newer uh, power supply model where they're building. It's really two different power supply modules here on the side of the machine. All the PCIe connections are already hooked up internally on this board, which I'll go ahead and unscrew that here to show you. Or I meant to say on the control board, which is gonna be this top piece right here. But you can see that this PCIe connection is actually ran from a extender. So it's, it's all connected internally on this machine. You're gonna really have to dismantle it to get to these hash ports, to get to these power connections on the inside. If you do wanna see stuff like that, please let me know in the comments section below. Also, let me know in the comments below what your favorite ASIC miner is right now. And if you don't have one, that's okay. You can say, I don't have one, along with your Bitcoin address. And you know, furry donors are gonna be sending out some uh, furry Bitcoin here. Uh, maybe at the end of next month, like our new giveaway schedule is, or the furry donors, I should say, right? Initially, my first impressions of this machine are, well, I'm kind of bored, it's another ASIC miner, but then on the other hand, I'm kind of interested because it has their newer, more powerful chip tech, so you're getting more hash, you know, in the same small package. Also, it's completely built as one machine, so I can really see a lot of utility for this for newcomers to the space, but you need 240 volts, so it's unlikely that a newcomer is gonna have their 240 volt ready for a machine like this here. If you're in the US, you have your standard electric, which is 120 volt. But my point is that this is a machine that you can take out of the box, throw it on a shelf in a mining farm, right? And I'm gonna slap in my two power cords as well as a ethernet cable. And once I do that, boom, mining. Just log into this miner. Uh, through the dashboard, which is all you need to do to log into a Bitmain, Antminer, ASIC miner, if you do not know, is you just need to find the IP address. So you can log into your router and look for the Antminer on there. Or you can use an application like Who's On My Wi-Fi, which is an app that I think is available for every operating system, including your you know, iOS, iPhone, or maybe Android. I don't have one. But my point that I keep getting off track from making is say, you know, I got a hundred grand I want to spend on a Bitcoin mining farm, right? I got my VC investors and they say, hey man, you sound like you got a good idea. I heard about uh, Bitcoin on the interwebs. I want to put some money behind it because, you know, I don't want to miss out on the next financial revolution. I say, okay, okay. And I'm looking at the machines. I'm looking at, you know, say the Antminer S9. I can get them cheap right but they're a little bit older they're not as efficient and they're going to take more work to set up because one if you need you know two of them or much more actually to get you know the same amount of hash rate well then you're deploying more machines and you're plugging in all those pcie connections with this i can i can throw it up and go i could deploy this in less than half the time that it would take you to deploy those machines and when you start to scale this stuff out time becomes money more than ever so i absolutely see the utility in this the uh, downside here is, you know, say you have a bad hash board, it's gonna be uh, a little more cumbersome, a little more annoying, a little, much much higher maintenance to go in there and diagnose that or change it out or whatever. A little less modular, but definitely much easier to deploy. A couple other things to note in this new generation of Bitmain ant miners that mine Bitcoin is gonna be, they have a couple different models. So I have the S17 Pro with me here today, which I'll explain why this is the best model here throughout this video. They also have the S17 as well as the T17. I wish they would just make one banging model, but it's Bitmain. So, you know, look out for the S17 Pro 9J Junior model coming sometime over the next one to 17 months. Welcome to Bitmain's marketing. So let's go ahead and look at the specs. Let's compare these models, numbers, okay? Not just my opinion, not just pulling stuff out of the air. We're gonna break it down, profitability, what's making what, what makes the most sense, or in this case, dollars, when converted from Satoshis, which is a denomination of Bitcoin, right? <laughs> right. Let's do it. All right, so last April, they announced their new seven nanometer series of amp miners, the 17 series. With that came the S17 Pro, the S17, and the T17. I'm still not quite sure why we needed three models that do more or less the same thing. Uh, some of the cool features of these miners is that they do have different 
modes. You have you know high power if your electric's super cheap, or you have a power efficiency mode if your electric is on the more expensive side or side. And with that, you know, it's gonna be a trade-off game. You know, how much do you want to spend on electric? How much can you spend on electric? And just kind of where on this little seesaw does it make sense for you? With that, you know, they announced some of their upcoming batches. When you looked at those batches, so that the first batch that shipped April 20th to 30th which is the one we have in hand here those were selling for two thousand three hundred and sixty six dollars that's before any kind of in, uh, import tax so this miner cost me six hundred and three dollars to import so if i was keeping this i would be out the door three thousand dollars before i even start mining i've got to make three thousand dollars back just to break even with the way bitcoin's been moving who knows that could be very very possible but this is an, in an investment advice i'm just a doge dad so keeping all that in mind, and again, that's on the S17 Pro, let's come over here and look at the profitability calculators. This is CryptoMining.Tools, a new, really cool profitability calculator. We touched on it before, it's been refined big time since then by Scott Alford. He's also the sponsor of the video, but to be honest, this is the best tool, so we're gonna be using it anyway. With this, uh, just so you know, it's really only set up for Bitcoin right now. But so I want to look at the Antminer S17 Pro in the 53 terahash mode, which is the normal uh, mode, standard mode that this miner comes in. With all that in mind, the power consumption is 2,094 watts, and my power cost for me personally is 12 cents per kilowatt hour right now. So I'm mining $17. I'm paying $6 in electric, so I'm bringing home $11.39. But it's like, well, maybe the uh, S17 Non Pro would be the better uh, choice for me. Well, here's the deal. It's burning more electric. It's getting about the same earnings because again, it's hashing at 53 terahash. Doesn't matter how much you burn, 53 terahash is 53 terahash of SHA-256, which is the mining algorithm for Bitcoin mining power. So with that, we're just gonna be losing in efficiency. So if I paid a little bit more, but I'm spending a little bit less on electric, that could quickly add up. Another thing to keep in mind is when you're burning power, you are generating heat. So if you burn more and more and more and more power, you are going to be making more and more and more heat, which needs to be dissipated. Just some food for thought there. Then let's come over here and look at the T17. It doesn't have a 53 terahash uh, option there for us but we'll be able to see what the numbers are if we're hashing at 40 terahash well much less efficient model at 2200 watts we're gonna be mining 13 dollars 28 cents a day sounds good but we're paying about half of that in our electric cost with this standard u.s residential electric rate so again it's just going to come down to what model is going to cost the least for you that hashes the most and doesn't you know run up your electric bill too much when you look at these numbers, the S17 Pro is going to be the best bet. If we go to the next configuration, you can see even though we're mining more, we're burning more electric, we're actually making less USD a day there. I went a little fast there, so I'll show you that one more time. So we got 11.15 on the Pro 56 configuration. We have 11.39 on the 53 terahash configuration. And if we go down to the 50 terahash configuration, again, you know, we're burning less watts, but we're losing so much profitability, it actually doesn't make sense. It loses sense. <laughs> Get it? Come on, come on. I'm not playing that one out too much. I've been saying that a lot lately, but it's just always so appropriate. So therefore, this is going to be the best model bang for buck if all the pricing is relative. Again, we had this price for the S17 Pro, the next batch, which is shipping May 21st to the 31st, at 2030 you compare that to the other models so we'll go to the normal model here you know we're only losing we're not even paying we're paying 40 more dollars for a miner that is less efficient and the t17 is significantly cheaper so if you have a great electric rate this could absolutely be the model you go for maybe that's why they brought it to market but the point is that you know if you are not on the cheap electric side the s17 pro when you compare it against the other models is going to be the best bet if you've got dirt cheap electric or free electric the t17 
may actually be the best bet for you. Keep in mind, you got import uh, taxes coming if you're in the US and many other countries as well. So make sure you budget for that accordingly. It's gonna be per minor. A key factor to today's video is the simple fact that the only reason I was able to get this minor is thanks to Gavin at Coin Mining Central. He set up a site-wide coupon code and he put me on the page. What a nice guy. Uh, he set up a side-wide coupon code to get, I think, 5% off. Don't quote me on that. Maybe it's 30. It's some kind of percentage off. If you just use the coupon code BOSSCOIN, Actually, let's check it out right now. So we'll go there, we'll go to the cart. Well, it looks like we've got some kind of website error here. I can't put any sort of coupon code in. I went forward in the checkout menu. I got this discount code box, put boss coin, um, and that saves you a whopping 121 USD. That's pretty good. You, you're welcome, guys. I mean, it's like I never did anything for you. I also have a referral link for this stuff down in the video description below if you want to support the channel and buy through the link. So with all that said, guys, you know, this miner, it uses a lot of power. It needs 240 volt. There's pros and cons to the power supply being mounted on the machine like that and already having things hooked up. It's got, you know, four fans on it, so it's, you know, as loud as ant miners essentially get. So please understand this is a farm grade, industrial grade mining unit. This isn't something you're going to sleep next to, but it is something you can have in the corner of your basement, in a bedroom that's so far away from your bedroom that don't, you don't use. For example, there are places you can put it in your house if you have an appropriate electric setup for it. With the way the market is currently trending, it is possible you could break even on this machine in about six months, but that's gonna mean that you mined Bitcoin, you kept Bitcoin, and Bitcoin went up in value and you continue to mine Bitcoin. If everything was static, nothing changed, you'd be breaking even on this machine in about three quarters of a year, but if they dump a ton more machines on the market or something crazy comes out, then again, you could break even from a little bit later to potentially never that's the game of mining here so it's all calculated risk for a machine that just makes calculations all day so there you go there you guys have it this is my review and breakdown of the latest ant miners with the mine bitcoin from bitmain hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please make sure to subscribe to the boss coin youtube channel hit the thumbs up on the video leave a comment and above all i'll see you guys next time i always appreciate you guys watching i just want to be